the degree of unpopularity of a regime when the choice is total authoritarianism, uh, totalitarianism, I should say, uh, in the alternative government makes one wonder whether you are being helpful to the people. And we've been guilty of that because someone didn't meet exactly our standards of human rights, even though they were an ally of ours. Instead of trying patiently to persuade them to change their ways, we have, in a number of instances, aided a revolutionary overthrow which results in complete totalitarianism instead for those people. And I think that this is a kind of a hypocritical p policy when at the same time we're maintaining a detente with the one nation in the world where there are no human rights at all, the Soviet Union. I did criticize the president because of our undercutting of what was a stalwart ally, the Shah of Iran. And I am not at all convinced that he was that far uh, out of uh, line with his people or that they wanted that to happen. The Shah had done our bidding and carried our load in the Middle East uh, for quite some time. And I did think that it was a blot on our record that we let him down. Have things gotten better? The Shah, whatever he might have done, was building low-cost housing, had taken land away from the mullahs and was distributing it to the peasants so they could be landowners, things of that kind. But we turned it over to a maniacal fanatic who has slaughtered thousands and thousands of people calling it executions.